Hello, this is our next exciting video. It's about business policies. <laughs> okay, it's not that exciting. Um, so all you need to do uh, now is make sure that you've logged into eBay already. Um, business policies, basically I'll start you off by saying when we linked up eSync to eBay, it actually um, sent over some information to eBay. Now a business policy is something that's actually applied to all the listings when they get listed through eSync. Um, don't be put off by the word, but I think it's a strange one, isn't it? Calling it business, business policy. policy. Yeah, yeah, it sounds um, very serious. All, all it is is just um, to let people know on every listing what your um, postage is, how, how you'd like to take payment, which is PayPal. Yeah, you know, exactly, yeah. How, your returns. So it's just that, yeah, let's just say, in this case, let's call it a policy if you want. You know, that's that's their business policy, just to show, tell eBay what exactly, uh, how we deal with returns and payments and... Yeah, it sounds simple, but it is important and it is necessary, yeah. so, which is why we're going to take you guys through it. So if you want to just type into Google uh, Business Policies eBay UK, yeah. uh, click on the top link. So just make sure you do put that into Google. Now um, scroll down this page and you're going to click on where it says My eBay little arrow account manage your business policies. What this thing do is it's going to opt you in to the business policy. Now it says preview business policies and tell us what you think. So again, this this is just says try now. We're not sure why it says all this kind of inf information, but as soon as you click try now, it goes straight into this screen, which is into eBay. So make sure you log into eBay. And as you can see now, the policies come up and it says eSync. Now the standard one on Postage just does just say eSync China. We're not entirely sure why they call it eSync China, but we've never changed the name. I think you can, but we've never changed it. Maybe no, we have, no. No. So we're going to start off with postage. Um, now two do actually come up and we will change both. So we'll just start with the one that says default. Oh no, we'll start from the top. We'll start from the top, but we'll, we'll change both to this setting. So we can click on edit, then edit policy. Or just on the blue edit, yeah, it'll get straight in there. And starting from the postage, so what we're going to do is change the service. Right now it says China, Hong Kong, Taiwan. Um, probably best not to put that. Yeah. They will be, they'll be really nicely surprised when they see it comes next day. Um, so we're going to change that to, um, is it other service, is it standard services, other 48-hour courier. That's the one. And then we're going to offer it. It's free post and packaging, so make sure that it's ticked. It's ticked right now for us anyway, automatically. And then you click offer additional service. And on this one, we're actually going to offer a 24-hour service. And that's is 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 it other is it Express Services other 24-hour courier? That's one work one working day. And I'm going to put a cost in here. Now we're actually going to put this cost as quite high. Um, generally, and the reason why is because we are actually sending the items out with the same delivery service regardless. The reason why we were actually adding this is purely because we want to get the premium eBay premium badge. And the premium badge not only gives us that badge and it puts us like further up and slightly further up in the rankings, but we also get a 10% discount on our on our, fees. Yeah, on our final value fees. So it, it makes your bills a little bit cheaper as well. So it does make sense. The only thing is we don't want to encourage people to use it if we're only putting like a pound or two pounds because we are using the same service at the end of the day. And if it ends up taking more than a day, there's a bit of a problem. So we're putting it at 9 because the max you put it is, is 10 pounds. If it goes over that, it doesn't count. Um, that's the cap is 10 pounds. So we're putting it nice and high just to say, you know, to to put people off effect effectively. Effectively, and if people do use it, the chances are it will come the next day. Yeah. Which oh, is, it, it usually does. It's like eighty yeah. percent of the time. Which um, is fantastic. So usually you're you're not going to get in trouble if if it does take longer. It's just a simple case of uh, giving them a partial refund of the nine ninety nine. Yeah, and you can and you can easily do that through PayPal. So that is actually straightforward. So if they're not happy with the fact that it didn't arrive the next day, we can. It's always resolvable. Precisely. So each additional item is the same nine ninety nine. And then you can see the dispatch time we've got is one working day. We are going to leave it at that for now. That's it means it already gives you 24 hours to even dispatch the item. Obviously, uh, Amazon's a lot, lot quicker than that. But it's just handy to have because, once again, if somebody does click the 24 hours, we've effectively got 48 hours. Yeah. And, okay, so on to the next one, international postage. Now, this one's actually a little bit more exciting. Um, and the reason why I say that, it doesn't look exciting, is the fact that we can actually send things globally. So we're going to actually, know, ah, yeah, that's it. I thought it wasn't yeah, working. Yeah, I thought, oh, what have we not done? <laughs> um, okay, so we've ticked that one. So what it means, and you may have heard of it or may have not, I know we've mentioned it before because we did actually click, turn the setting on. The global shipping program allows us to send it to pretty much any country that, that opts in. So if they're on eBay in their country, say someone in Spain's on eBay, and they, see, they can actually, if they actually 
have the uh, filter on that's international um, sellers, they'll be able to see your item. And if they're opting to the global shipping program, which I know most of Spain is, they'll be able to see your item and actually purchase it. They pay for the postage. Um, all, all we do is, is just as normal, just get it shipped from Amazon to the global shipping program, the global shipping center that eBay actually, um, I think, I don't know if they run it, but they at least get that center to actually send all their parcels. Um, and then they direct, ship it directly to the other country and then the local couriers um, carry it out. And this actually accounts for like 20% of our sales. And then I'd say even as far as up to 50% of my expensive items as well. Yes, exactly. So it's a very handy little button yeah. to have. And I think a lot of people yeah. aren't doing it, are they? And they're sort of missing a trick. Yeah, definitely. And you don't have to worry, guys, either about if the item goes missing or anything like that with a global shipping program. It's actually a good thing because eBay will take the hit. So yeah. we don't have to sort out a refund from Amazon or anything like that. It's it's essentially eBay's problem. Yeah, yeah. So um, just to elaborate what Matt was saying, that if you have problems when it, once it's actually gone to the global shipping program, as long as it's not uh, and it's sort of like a the incorrect item or the actual items damage, we say the box gets damaged as well, goes missing, any number of those sort of reasons. Yeah, eBay have a policy that actually covers us for it, and they actually uh, uh, recoup uh, refund the buyer, and we keep the uh, the sale sale. Uh, profit okay so next we go on to exclude so we don't we don't bother with delivery rate tables we've gone to exclude postage locations now we're actually going to exclude a few um here we're only going to exclude the ones at the top the channel islands isle of Wight, isle of man sicily islands uh scottish highlands scottish islands and northern ireland the reason why we do that is because amazon didn't ship to all of these only some of them and in some places so it's better that we actually have these ticked. I mean, I haven't experienced sending one to them, but I think you did, didn't you, Matt? Yeah, several, and every, every time it had to, it resulted in me having to cancel the order. So it's, it's just annoying, a uh, TV <laughs> problem, and it's something that I learned from. It was so. right at the start as well, wasn't it? It's, yeah, so, yeah. so basically, the, right at the start, you know, we, we're happy to get you know a few sales and everything. We're getting a sale a day, we're like really chuffed. And I think it was one of Matt's first sales. It's like, oh no, I've got to, <laughs> yeah. I've got to sort this out and refund the buyer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it can be a bit demoralizing, guys. But yeah. yeah, just make sure you cancel it. It's definitely, it, you know, it it's saves, it saves a headache and it doesn't make, it didn't make any difference to my sales anyway. No, so it's no, absolutely no. fine. So that's the um, postage uh, policy. Um, we're not going to do this right now, but all you need to do is the other postage policy, change that one as well. Sometimes eSync do create copies of them. We're not sure why. Um, another idea as well guys if you want to you can actually just delete yep. the policy I maybe would have done that the other way around though delete the China one and done the default, the default one but anyway by the by making the same it's the same difference yeah no it's best yeah because uh, yeah, and sometimes for some reason eSync will create copies of them so just be wary of that just check your policies I, I just check them back once a month now um, just to make sure that the postage doesn't change because there was once when postage changed for us um, eSync changed it and they changed it to the Taiwan shipping. And I, and I was wondering why my um, sales dropped <laughs> that weekend. Uh, but everything was fine. We sorted it out. So next, we're going on to payment. Now, this is actually the way we're going to take payment on the listing. We want to take it through PayPal and PayPal only. So we have PayPal ticked. It's already ticked for us. You have the email for receiving payments. So that's going to be your main PayPal. And require immediate payment when buy it uses buy it now. That is very important as well, guys. I didn't take this to start with, and what I found was I didn't even know you could do this on eBay, but you could reserve an item without actually paying for it. So what I found, I, was, I thought I was getting sales, but people were actually just reserving the item and then never actually paying for it. So definitely tick it. Yeah. I didn't know you had actually done that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another one of my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Someone's going to make them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that is it that's the standard message you can see at the bottom the additional instructions you can change it if you like but we leave it that we, I leave it that as well so that's save fine. those settings make sure you click the blue save button everyone <laughs> and the last one is returns so returns I, this one we're actually going to have our returns at 30 days so you can see here it says domestic returns accepted 30 days and we're, we're going to change the return postage will be paid by the seller so we're giving free returns. Now, the reason why it can be free returns, and this is the beauty of using Amazon, is they actually provide free post prepaid postage labels, and usually with Royal Mail. So it's really, really handy to be able to go down to your local post office. You just print out the label. So it's a, it's a PDF format. Um, and all you do is 
save or you just print it straight off the off the website off Amazon and then stick it on the uh, parcel there's a couple of labels it's really really easy go straight down to post office you don't have to get any extra stamps nothing extra they just scan them and then you just hand them over and then it gets sent back to Amazon when it's scanned that's actually usually when you get your refund as well as soon as the item's scanned yes, at the post office is. And uh, also the beauty of this is, guys, is that you're not actually going to be doing any of this anyway. All you're going to be needing to do is go to Amazon, get the return label yourself, save it as an image, and send it to the eBay buyer. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, yeah, I kind of uh, skipped a little bit there, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking about when uh, returns get sent to me. So most, most of the items, as Matt was saying, are going to be sent straight back to Amazon because you'll be giving the label to the um, buyer. Uh, that's another video that we'll show you. Um, so the next next thing is the international returns. Same thing again. We offer 30 days and the seller is free returns. And the reason why we actually, just so you know why we actually put these, is so again we can get that premium badge. And again, eBay likes people who accept th uh, their returns for 30 days. And 30 days is the minimum. So we put it as 30 days. Um, and yeah, again, eBay liked that. So the sort of, you, again, you get ranked a little bit higher than someone who might put 14 days. Uh, and I think customers like it as well. They trust a little bit more. And you don't get a lot of returns, by the way. We're talking like 5%. If so that. It's, yeah, yeah, if that. But we always play it safe at about 5%. Okay, that's the uh, setting done for returns. I think is that all the settings now? Yeah, that's business policies then done, guys. Um, if you then want to find them again after this, you just go into the top corner, uh, account settings, and then you'll see that your business policies will be here as well in, in your bullet points. Um, simple as that. Yeah, uh, with the business policies, just to add a quick note to all that, um, you can actually create new business policies. So just go back on there. So as you can see, it's just appeared there, like Matt said. So that'll be there permanently. So if you ever go to business policy, you can create a new policy. So if you want to do a postage one, you can click on uh, postage again or payment or anything like that. Um, so what would, which one would we, we click on? Yeah, the shipping one, wouldn't we? Would change. You'd, so, you'd maybe change the postage. The only reason why you'd ever change this is for the more expensive items, bigger items, take longer to post. Yeah. You just might want to create a separate policy for them. Um, and that's just to stop any defects or any yeah. any, any customers. So where's my item? You said it'd be here within three days. You know, you, then if it takes five days, we'll we'll put five days in in the postage. Precisely. Yeah. And we'll show you how to um, how to link link the each listing into the right business policy as well. That comes underneath the listing video categories. Yeah. So do make a note of this, guys, and bear it in mind. Yeah, that's business policies. Lovely. See you in the next video.